We're in Outlook 2016, and I'm going to show you the difference between a new appointment, as you see at the top, and a new meeting. Now, this is in the calendar section, so if you're not in the calendar section, let's say you're in the email section, just make sure you click on Calendar in the bottom left-hand corner. And you can see now that we have our new appointment. Let's go ahead and add a new appointment. And then let's go ahead and add a new meeting. And let's put them next to each other. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. There's not a lot of difference here. You can see that the save and close option is not the same on the left-hand side between the two. But other than that, it looks pretty much the same. The forward option is on the appointment, but you don't see it here in the meeting. Uh, the rest of it looks very similar. Now typically, according to Microsoft, an appointment is something that you have with, say, a particular person or, say, a doctor's appointment, that kind of thing. A meeting is something you have with multiple people where you need to send off a meeting request. And they can reply back and you can meet in a particular location. And one of those locations is the room finder. So you can see a room finder here, but you don't see that in the appointment. However, they are all very similar. So let's go ahead in the uh, appointment. Let's go ahead and create an appointment. And we'll just say doctor appointment. And from here, we can click on our scheduling assistant. We can invite attendees. Of course, not many people invite uh, other people to a doctor's appointment. So we can go ahead and click cancel invitation there. We can also have the appointment reoccur if we'd like. We can make it private so anybody who is sharing our calendar with us or with them cannot see it. We can also change the importance as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click over to our meeting. And from here, we can click on the To button and we can go ahead and add people in. And we can say Required, Optional, and we can also choose a resource such as a room. From here, it's going to be accounting meeting. And the location, we can click on room, something we don't have in the appointment. And if we had a room here, we would choose it and click it there. Otherwise, we can just type in conference room. We can choose the date and the time. And then when we're ready, we can go ahead and choose to send the appointment. We can say the or the uh, pop-up here says the meeting request occurs in the past. Do you want to? Oh, that's a thank you for letting me know. So let's say don't send, and let's change that into the future. And now we'll go ahead and send. And now we're going to go ahead and save and close our other one. And now it says that we're 10 hours overdue to our appointment. So it didn't tell us on the appointment that it was already in the past. However, it did on our meeting. So that's the difference between an appointment and a meeting in Microsoft Outlook 2016.